It's Ketchup Packets. Hey everybody, I'm Nate. I'm Sean. And this is Ketchup Packets. Today we are watching The Boys Season 1, Episode, what, 4? Four? Four. Uh, called The Female of the Species. Okay. Alright, well. What does that, that say? Doesn't tell me much. I assume that there's going to be at least one woman in this episode. Okay. Okay, so that's a good and start. Good start. Maybe an incel because it's describing yeah. her as a female. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's in quotes, too, so. Yeah. yeah it kind of makes me wonder if that's like, yeah, some, some weirdo's way of talking about women. Yeah, I could totally see that being. No, I wasn't meaning to. Yeah, well. Make a politically charged statement. No, no. I mean, I don't think that's, <laughs> that's uh, objectively weird. Yeah. Um, so what's going on on the boys, Nate? What happened last time? Ooh, uh, so let's see. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, the Flash, what's his name? A-Train. Uh, A-Train, that's right. He, uh, he had a race mm -hmm. and he won the race mm -hmm. because he was using the, uh, V- Compound the V. Compound V. That's, that's right. That's right. And uh, his girlfriend also took it. Mm -hmm. And she has Wolverine powers. Yes. And also super strength. Mm hmm. Um, and then she accidentally uh, killed a guy by crushing his head on her right. pelvis. Yeah, yes, she yep, did. Yep, yep, she sure did. So, it's gonna yeah. It's be an image that's in my, in my brain for a while. And we met a new member of the team as well. Do you oh yeah, his name. It's a little uh, weird. Oh, oh, it's it was like squeaky shoes or something. <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. His mother's milk. Mother's milk. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Very very interesting. Um, squeaky shoes. I like that a lot better. <laughs> I think that's what they should have gone with. But, mm -hmm. um, and he is a like a a mentor for troubled youth, mm -hmm. and he's getting back in the game even though he doesn't wasn't feeling it. That's right. He was made an offer he couldn't refuse. Sort of like Frenchie. You know? Yep, yep. Everyone seems like they had a really bad time last time they were all in a group together. Yeah. But they're gonna do it again. Mm -hmm. Should we see what they get up to? Yeah, let's do it. But we have an announcement to make. A few minutes ago, we hit a thousand subscribers. Yay! Hey! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah. Is that in his <laughs> I think that's it's <laughs> a yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of a bummer. But that's why we got the that's why we got the balloons up. We figured it was it was reason for celebration. Hooray. So thank you guys so much for watching with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, we also we do have a Patreon down below if you wanna if you wanna take a look at that. Thanks a lot. If not, don't worry about it. We're just happy to have you here. And, and uh, let's watch the boys. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Who's that? Is that that? That woman that he went to visit who hates him now? It is not her. It's no. not her. What has your life become, dude? I love that the visual shorthand to communicate he now lives alone is mattress on the floor and empty fridge except hot yep. pockets. Yep. No ambiguity it's there. It's also just like kind of dustier and dirtier in there. That's creepy too. They call it compound B. It's some kind of booster, a steroid, for soups. Jacks them right up. Now, word gets out that soups are nothing but a bunch of juice junkies. No one's gonna want them in national defense. Mm-hmm. Got a sample? Not yet. Mm. This could be heroin. It could be anything. You don't trust me. Susan, I am shocked and saddened by that. Really? <laughs> Speaking of which, I haven't seen translucent around anywhere. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Cunt's invisible. It could be standing in that fucking corner, <laughs> bugging one out right now for all we know. <laughs> Look. Wouldn't be the first time. Soups of cunts now. I mean, what's to stop Sergeant Homelander from killing a couple of hundred thousand Chinese? How are you going to chime for war crimes? He's going to move the bloody lot of us before he steps one foot in the Hague. I mean, you might as well hand the bloody launch keys over to Vault right now. You're really working this one, huh? Just being an upstanding... Seems pretty high stakes. Oh, yeah. Superheroes out yeah, of the military. Right. 
It's like a okay. terrible idea. <laughs> Noodle guy. He's picking. All the time we see something. I think Huey's thinking to himself, how did I wind up in this group? You're right. They think a soup is about to be there, right? Seems like not a good idea. He's sneaking around like that. I mean, I don't know if they think that he's about to be here, but he's extremely fast. They know he comes yeah, here. So, yeah, yeah he should operate could as though he could arrive any at any time. Yeah. But no warning. I think we should let her go. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. We're here for the V and we get out. This isn't a rescue. You sound like Butcher. Sound like a motherfucker that wants to be breathing. God damn it, French. Pretty loud. Cool. You, let's go. Let's go, you. Come on. Just lock themselves in there. They did. I mean, I don't think they can't escape, but yeah. they. I'm a joke. I mean, yeah, I can talk to fish. So what? How often do you need to be saved by a school of salmon? Kevin, that's just not true. His name's Kevin. Where would that kind of a cruise ship be without you? Yeah. I know. Okay, I need to self-actualize. It is kind of funny that, like, he, you know, he's in the seven. I'm one of the seven. And what does that mean? I can do anything I set my mind to. Talking to fish is a total B team <laughs> power in the first place. <laughs> yeah. You're just gonna have well, to be used I'm to it, man. You all right? I mean, just when you think this shit can't get any more horrible. Nah, don't worry. Get a little more horrible. <laughs> Thanks, man. Vought and the soups are both gonna be looking for her. All we gotta do is find the female first. Keep so Butcher's the one that yeah, talks like a weirdo. Yep, he's the weird loser, I guess. Yeah, it's nothing. I mean, we were supposed to go on a date. Not a date, just she asked me if I wanted to ask her for her number, and then we just kind of platonically exchanged information, but the, the word date was never mentioned. Call a bit right now. You're fucking going. As a rule, I don't usually go out after a gory massacre. Listen, <laughs> you're going to hot mark her phone. From now on, we hear everything she says. I mean, this is a golden opportunity. And after all you've done, piece of cake. Hmm. Yeah, she's not a... She's not a bad person. She's a soup, Huey. Just like the fucking rest of them. That seems a little presumptuous. He's got a thing okay, against the not soups, not, not just them. about... Translucent does not show his face soon. People are going to start to notice. What if we just get in front of it? Tell the world he died tragically in service of his country. We could have an amazing. And he seems like the only one we're aware of who's know. got some the, the redeeming qualities yeah. so far, yeah. doesn't she? Yeah. yeah, she sure does. If you bring those passengers back alive, not one congressman will have the balls to vote against our bill. <laughs> this is our chance. More important than translucent. More important than anything. So the unexplained murder of one of their main superhero mm -hmm. team is not even as important as their yep. political goals. Promise. Promise. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Don't make me use that gas on you, huh? Pumpkin? Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. Mm. What is that? Leather Dang. that that leather strap stretching sound yeah. effect that they always use when somebody grabs someone by the nuts. That's the know? sound my brain makes when somebody grabs me by the nuts. <laughs> Does that happen it's to you a lot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I found a mission. Uh huh. And I think it's really important, and I'd like to do it with your permission, of course. What? Where? Ocean land. Ocean land. Yeah. You do realize that you are at the centerpiece of the Ocean Land Fall campaign. Yeah, well, I mean, we could just bail on that, right? The deal sucks anyway. <laughs> well, and deep, play to your strengths. I really hope they're not trying to, like, build a sympathetic story around him because... They kind of screwed that up in the first. No, episode. I don't think they're trying to make him sympathetic. Yeah. They're just trying to show you that he's the a pathetic, pathetic piece loser. of shit. Yeah. yeah. Please. Tell me who you told. Because we're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. I didn't tell anyone. Hmm. I'm gonna take care of this. But until I do, I gotta get you somewhere safe before Homelander finds out. I love you. I love you too. Yeah, I suppose if Homelander finds out, he's gonna turn them both into goop. Homelander yeah. would be a very scary guy to ever have to interact with, yep. you know, for fear that you might make him unhappy. Money, Patty, a special deal. <laughs> Unnecessary. There's a conversation that could have been had. Oh, yeah. Extravaganza starring these two knuckleheads. So this fall, remember, go deep. Go Oceanland. All right, let's see what you got. The ads are already running. Seems like it's hard mm -hmm. to bail on the campaign at this point. So what's uh, what's translucent like? That's a conversational left turn. Yes, it was. I'm sorry about that. Sorry, yeah, it just popped into my head as a kid. He was my favorite. You said the other ones were dicks. Is he a dick too? Well, I mean, he's not great with privacy or boundaries. I will say that. But otherwise, he seems like a loner. He spends most of his free time with his son. Oh, Huey. He's got a son? <laughs> yeah, early divorce, I think. It's about ten. Hunter or Maverick or something like that. Why are you that. asking questions about the guy you blew up, man? Well, he's trying to make himself feel better he's, and it backfired not... horrendously. No, yeah. <laughs> you killed the kid's dad. <laughs> That's just not a good, that's not a good plan in the first place. The oxygen masks didn't deploy. Does the cabin just repressurize if you shut yeah. the door too? I wonder how that works. You okay, sweetheart? Yeah? Good for you. You guys are amazing. Fantastic. Go May! Hey, let's get a round of applause for Queen May! Yeah! Captain? Stop! Stop! Oh, 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 easy, fella. Take it easy. There you go. Just relax. Oh, no. ATC! 
he doesn't need to though, right? Kind of pick it up, set it down somewhere. What do we do? Is that how that works? Yeah. Superhero. You gotta go out there, lift the plane up. Lift the plane? How? There's nothing to stand on. It's fucking air. I don't know. Fly at it. Ram it straight. I don't know that kind of speed. Either the plane goes ass over tit, or I'll punch straight through the hull. Yeah, I see. Okay, you take everybody one by one. You fly them to the ground. <laughs> Come back 123 times. Wave. Think. I'm not helping. We're done here. I mean, he just wants Please. to give up. Yeah. Oh, Linda, are you going to save us? Oh, sweetheart, of course I'm going to save you. You betcha. I'm going to save everyone here. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, man. Wow. Try nothing, huh? So they could tell the world that we left the rest of them to fucking die? Come on! No, man. No, you stay back. All of you, stay back. You stay the fuck back and I'll laser you, goddammit. I'll laser every fucking one of you. Let's go. So Mabel would die. Yeah, interesting. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please take my job. I don't know. Yeah, I think a plane crash is pretty that's pretty heavy. can't do anything it seems like there's... he wouldn't do anything yeah. and she is beholden to him in a yeah. abusive power dynamic you know where like yeah. he he's got so much power in that relationship it's not possible for her to have any real agency you well, know? I don't even think she could get off the plane without him. yeah I don't think she can fly independently yeah it's a gang hit <laughs> yeah the gang hit. yeah buddy and who told you that, eh? I'm not arguing with him. I'm looking into it. Excuse me. Cheers, Mike. No, well, just make yourself scarce. He uses fake credentials to get in there. Mm hmm. Vought don't send a soup to do a gang hit, alright? He was after the female. And then who was the woman? Roberta Cho, mother of four, loved Mexican food, and smuggled in a ton of immigrants from all over the Pacific. Oh, girl. Hey, Trent, can I get a selfie? I got it. <laughs> Bye. I know where she's going. Penn Station. She's working her way backwards. She's trying to get home. And I want you to join me at the Believe Expo, June 6th and 10th at the fair. I really want this date to go well, but I think Huey's too distracted to make it happen. We're going to have worship, food trucks, and, oh yeah, Christ. Featuring Homelander and Starlight from the 7th. I know. <laughs> Look, I'm not... Are you okay? Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly. You seem a little... I don't know. Teach her, teach her some form. You say you bowled a lot, and, you know, you have, like, superpowers, yet you are a remarkably shitty bowler. You know what I think's happening? I think you're holding back for some weird, not gonna show me up on a first date reason. You wanna quit stroking my ego and show me what you really got?
Yeah. That makes yeah, more sense. See. Oh, shit. <laughs> now that's a strike. The first thing we ever saw her doing was punching holes in brick walls. That's right. So. <laughs> yeah. If you're just tuning in, authorities have lost all radar and satellite imagery of hijacked Flight 37 and fear the worst. Search planes have begun to fan out over the flight path off the Atlantic. If one person survived that crash, all miners in trouble. It's the middle of the ocean. They didn't. Yeah, that's true. But they have the floaty seats. You don't, seats you don't survive impact with the water. Let me help you. Oh, so close. So does he have a grenade? Is that what's happening? There are stun grenades or smoke grenades or something? Oh. Did you see it? Which way is she? I don't know. Did you try to gas her? No. Why not? It didn't seem right, huh? You went off plan because it didn't seem I'm right. I'm sorry, okay? Yeah, he's got a little bit of soft spot, it seems like. Oh, Sean, seems he has a problem with calling audibles. Yeah. Does it bother you that I could whip your ass in bowling? And in everything? And bench press you? Oh my god, is that a threat or a promise? <laughs> no. Um, you got ketchup. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? You don't like that? Doesn't work for you? <laughs> there you go, now the date's going better. It's half date, half mission. Yeah. Yeah, that's as true. As he's remembering by seeing Robin so there. Yeah. Be right back. You got some extra bad PTSD going on, man. Yeah. I don't know, it feels like bringing Starlight on board. She would not be so opposed to, you know, bringing the seven down a peg at least. Yeah, you know what might be more lucrative than tapping her phone would be getting her on your side yeah, to see right. what she can tap. <gasps> yeah, right. So where's the girlfriend? Or what she, she can be granted access to yeah. as a member of the Seven. She might not have to tap anything. To train, huh? What happened the night that Mallory had your tail lamp light? Oh, yes, enough. Mallory was our boss, man. We had orders. You were supposed to follow him. You were supposed to follow Lamplighter, tell him, but you let him go. I didn't know. And Lamplighter goes and tortures Mallory's grandkids. I didn't know. It doesn't matter. You didn't follow orders and it cost some lives. Yeah, maybe this is not the right time to be making a scene. In Penn Station? You don't yeah. think so? When they're trying to gas a soup? What's Sporty Spice up to? Who? Sporty fucking Spice. What's she up to? I don't know. Exactly. You see, when they're apart, they're absolute fucking rubbish. But, you put them together, now they're goddamn fucking Spice Girls. Huh. It's a weird analogy, but I get what you're trying to say. How do you know so much about the Spice Girls? <laughs> <laughs> Look, the point is that we're all shy. Butcher's got good pep talks. Mm -hmm. What do you say? We go find that dirty little bitch, gas her ass, and get the fuck out of here. Seems like a dart gun would be more effective than gas grenade. Stop the Atlantic Ocean. That's right. That's right. Oh my god. Hmm? Okay. He's trying to do some good. Okay, okay. I just touch it when you shut up. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. I made you a promise. Oh no. Oh. Uh. 
<laughs> Whoops. Wacky. Well, now he's... That doesn't look good for him. The good idea well, to you, chase yeah. her in a crowd after what you saw her do? Yeah. She might start she... killing everyone. Yeah. You gonna go fight A Train? What's yeah, your plan? Right. Gas him. A Train! Over here! Look, everybody! It's A Train over here! Look, it's A Train! Hey! <laughs> this is a good plan. Just draw attention to him. Yeah? He's beating up a woman in the corner of a, a train station. What you said last time is their one weakness they all have is their reputations. Mm -hmm. She will rip you literally to shreds if you're not careful. Oh. What if she's a Spice Girl? Frenchie. I really like Frenchie as a character. I don't want to see him in shreds. Let me help you go home. No. Do we have any indication that she speaks English? Yeah, that's that's the question. <laughs> and she's operating yeah, she that she does. Seem like Not much of a talker, at least we know that. We have Homelander and Queen Maeve on the scene. Do you have a comment? Said they didn't have to die. We arrived three minutes after the plane went down. Why? Because we're not in the chain of command. Oh. Right. Called us He's good. before they yep. scrambled jets, then we could have saved them. 123 men, women, and children. Excuse me. God, what a psychopath. So great. God bless you. God bless America. We hear you, Homelander! And I hear you, brother! I hear you! And the world hears you! And very, very soon, my friend, whoever did this to us will hear from all of us! Whoa. You gotta go be careful with the maniac eyes yeah, right. when you're Homelander. Well. Wow. The boys. Yeah. Man, that show's intense. The. It. I refuse to believe, I, I sort of have a feeling that Homelander like had that idea in his head like while he was still on the plane. I feel that like it's better if they crash? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously he had that idea, but he was like, I can spin this. Like, he wasn't thinking about like, I like, if I don't say these people, our plan is screwed. He was like, I, I think I know how to make this work for us, you know? Yeah. And then he was like, I don't need to do anything else. Right. The, ac the actual too. heroism itself is not the point at all. Right. It's about yeah. what the heroism can get for the organization. Mm hmm. See, I mean, I was going through it in my head during that scene. I was like, you know, the plane's going like down diagonally and he sort of slides himself like underneath it and kind of tries to even it out and like have it. But mm -hmm. it's all, to, you know, he was just like, nah, nah. Yeah, nah. he wasn't even going to try it. But I also think, you know, that's sort of an interesting commentary on any of those pictures or like those scenes of Superman saving a falling plane or whatever. And mm -hmm. it's like, 
the idea in all that other stuff, I guess, is sort of that you, like, come up slowly under the falling plane, mm -hmm. like, match its downward speed at enough that you're making contact with it, and then slowly, like, increase your upward speed mm -hmm. as you're touching it, and that will... But, like, how would that yeah, really, it, you know, like, you would just start flipping it over, as he said? It wouldn't, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, like, the, the, the physics behind flying in the first place just mm -hmm. don't really make a whole lot of sense. That's, you know, yeah. it, it doesn't... The, yeah, it sort of implies that, like, he can apply extra force upwards right. while he's flying. Yeah, and out. it's... I can't remember what comedian... There's some stand-up comedian who has, like, a one-off joke of, How does Superman fly faster? Like, I get that he can fly, but how does he fly faster? How does he fly faster? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's interesting. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess even Homelander sort of has some limitations that I feel like they've kind of thought of. They gave him a kryptonite, or at least, a, you know, he can't see through zinc kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah. But, like, because that's, you know, obviously they're going to do that. But they were also like, yeah, but he can't also can't just apply, like, for, like physics still sort of exists. He right. can fly himself. You'd think he's got a limit as to how much he could carry with him, theoretically, as well. I mean, I don't know, mm -hmm. he seems to be super strong, but, like, when... Queen Maeve suggested flying people to the surface and mm -hmm. back, he was like, come back 123 times, so, like, he clearly couldn't, like, just tell everyone to make a chain mm -hmm. and then be, like, the one at the top who's not falling and lowers right. them slowly. Right, yeah. I mean, that would probably be very that difficult be, to pull yeah, off as well like but I don't know people then the person at the top of the chain would also be holding however however many people exactly I mean, yeah. they are not strong enough to right you know. well, yeah so it still wouldn't work like that but he didn't you know it seems like Homelander, Homelander does have some practical limitations on what yeah. he can do he can't just like do anything he thinks of well I mean like also just think about the, the fact of like he would have to move ridiculous he probably can move that fast he probably can carry all those people and he probably could have done that but not without the G-forces killing every one of them on the sure, way yeah, to the... Sure, yeah, they can't endure yeah, it. Right. Exactly, and he's just going to bring them, what, to the middle of the ocean, and then what, you know? Yeah. Like, have them, yeah. I mean, I can see I can see the predicament, but, like, he tried nothing. The plane wasn't going to crash until he lasered the controls, mm -hmm. though, too. Like, well, the, the guy was up there, he shot the pilot, but they could have talked to the controllers and landed the plane, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he, that's right. He, he created the He crash. made the plane unflyable. That's mm -hmm. true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's a horrific sequence. Yeah, of yeah. Causing a plane crash Pretty and intense, killing 123 people. They really have driven home what a horrible monster Homelander is through planes a lot in this show so far. Yeah. You know, he seems to... Bringing down planes, kids on planes seems yeah, to be a theme that's like his, for him. His gimmick, you know, <laughs> just horrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh. And then we've got the female of the species, which mm -hmm. is the title of the episode. Yeah. Um, what do you think it's about funny her? Funny that butcher is so. <laughs> he he was the guy. It's pretty yeah. bad. Um, but uh, yeah, that's interesting. I would be interested to know if she could understand anything that Frenchie was saying, or if there was just kind of something about his energy that she... Because it seems like every other person that approaches her, that's not just like a bystander, anyone who interacts with her becomes like her target mm -hmm. so far. Yeah. You know? She was listening to Frenchie, or it seemed mm -hmm. to be. But she's some random immigrant that they're dosing with Compound V. And what's going on they there? They don't really... Yeah. The motivations are unclear, but... Pretty much everyone's dead who would be able to tell us, she except for under the armed guard in a noodle restaurant. <laughs> yep, in a cage, in like a hardcore cage, like mm -hmm. a serious cage, like yeah, prison like, bars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Oh, and boy. then of course we have the deep storyline with our mm -hmm. uh, projectile dolphin. Very That's interesting, and I can't tell if that was supposed to be kind of like a, you know, the writers trying to work a little bit of comedic relief into the horrific piece that we have like you know human trafficking and a plant you know horrific plane crash kind of all in one there's a lot of dead bodies in this episode kind of like yeah. a lot of horribleness and then like oh funny thing where the deep tries to save a dolphin and obviously it still ends up pretty gross like pretty bad like i love right dolphins. but it's was... but it's more wacky bad you <laughs> right, know it's exactly. definitely the it's like show a cartoon. yeah the show has a a dark comedy tone and vibe to it and i think you're dead on that the rest of the episode is pretty bleak mm -hmm. in terms of its subject matter and so they need something that is a little bit zanier you know every episode of the boys i think 
wants to include something that makes the audience go, I can't believe I'm watching a TV show to pick this right now. Right, you know? yeah. And, and they do that. Yeah, <laughs> right. Every episode they've got something, and I think this one had Dolphin launch through a windshield and mm -hmm. then run over by a truck. <laughs> Yeah, no. While the Spice Girls plays in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's too funny. Uh, uh, they're, the boys, the team, it seems like they have some like group therapy stuff to like work on. They don't seem like a very cohesive squad right now. It's, no, it's, it's, but you got some bad. backstory on what happened last mm -hmm. time. You know, Mallory was their leader before, mm -hmm. not Butcher. And Frenchie's going off plan cost her her grandchildren. Yeah. Horrible. So, yeah. yeah. And it sounded like they were talking about a a human torch analog, kind of like a lamplighter. A, a lamplighter was a, I assume a soup with some kind of fire based powers. You've heard lamplighter mentioned briefly earlier in the series, but it would have not been in a context where you had reason to notice. Mm-hmm. Lamplighter's retirement was announced as the reason there was a oh, vacancy on the team that Starlight it. is filling. Okay. So he just retired from the Seven. Interesting. So, I mean, tragedy could have... this The whole story that they're, they were just talking about could have happened more recently than... I guess I'm just... That was years ago, they oh, okay. said. And Lamplighter's retirement so was it wasn't more recent, really, yes. It wasn't really, like, related. There was no, no, like, okay, you're too much of a liability burning kids inside of a house. I guess what do they they don't care. No, I just yeah. realized I had a thought that maybe, you know, this corporation has a soul. But no, no, why would I even say that? No. Interesting. I'm trying to think if there's anything that we're missing that's worth noting. No, I think those were the big no. major things for this I episode mean, is the dolphin, the plane crash, and the female. A train's girlfriend also lied to him. Yes she did. She mm -hmm. was, you know I mean it's obviously very bad for her if he finds out what happened so mm -hmm. she has very good incentive to lie to him but she pulled it off thus far but he he seems like he doesn't believe her but he also doesn't have a way to make her confess you know yeah because he was know. just annoyed when she said i really didn't tell anyone you know That's he so didn't like he didn't start yeah. going oh well then what happened you know like he was just frustrated so yeah she's lamplighting him hey <laughs> Uh, on that note uh, thanks so much for watching guys thanks for joining us for so more the fun. boys yep you you watcher who hit the subscribe button at some point helped us get to a thousand subscribers so thank you so much punch that subscribe yeah. button yeah mm -hmm. a thousand is there's a thousand of them out there Isn't yep. that, that a little right. weird yeah I think it's I think it's awesome it is awesome it makes me feel very good about myself thanks for coming everybody yeah. to catch up with us yes and until next packet I'm Nate I'm Sean and this is Ketchup Packets. <laughs>